I lost everyone. Because I accidentally ended it. Like an idiot. Refresh chat. Oh my god. My friends. My friends, I've lost everything. I have no idea if you're there. If, like, this is the same video. I pressed the wrong button. I'm, I pressed the wrong button. You know, if it's just that I can't see the chat, but you're all there? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking... I have no idea if you're... Oh, fuck. Yeah, alright. Sorry guys, I accidentally hit stop live because I fat fingered my unmute button. Um, so, let me start over then. This is totally the same song. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to an impromptu hour in the office with Styx Intern. You should turn your camera off for this every time. Why? But that's a different song. You hear they're different. You see? But they're the same though, right? So it's really cool. This is the tool that uh, Sarge used uh, and he showed it to me the other night and like I just to show you guys kind of, I don't use the lyrics generator. I write my own lyrics cause I am making DFK lyrics and I don't and like branding lyrics. I don't expect them to do very well, but I, I made a song called alpha police and oh my God, oh my God, you guys. But before I play that, no see her just for this one. This is my 18s. So I, I play my 18s together because uh, they're all leveling together. You got another Excalibur J-Dub? Holy shit, man. That's cool. 
That's so cool, J Dub. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, send me a DM of the stats. I'll get them up here on the screen. That's so dope, man. It's in the Discord. All right, all right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. General, I assume? I assume you drop something like that in general. Ooh. Open image in new tab. There we go. Check this bad boy out. Show me the stats, though, J-Dubs. Show me the stats. Drop the stats in there. Let me see those. Let me show those to the good people of Narnia, a.k.a. the stream, a.k.a. all of you. Bloats, beavers, everyone, ragweed, shimmerskins. We can maybe have some red gills up in here. Welcome one and all to Office Hours with your host, Sticks Intern. Mm. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Now that you mention it. Welcome to Office Hours with your host, Sticks Intern. Welcome to Office Hours with your host, Sticks Intern. Welcome to Office Hours with your host, Sticks Intern. Yeah, I, I love this app. So highly recommend anyone who's even like moderately interested in AI, check it out. Please don't miss this 100% hit. Rob! Good Rob. Good Rob. Yes. So yeah, that's all like, I put that one set of lyrics. I'll show you what they were. My music. Oh shit, I forgot to change that out. Oh shit, I forgot to change that out. I was supposed to be on the Starbuck one. Shit, 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 shit. Also, J Dub sent me the stats, so I gotta open that up too. Open limited new tab. Check out these Excalibur stats. Holy shit, 15% pierce is so sick. 6% chance to inflict a bleed. 7% chance, to, like just an automatic chance to hit a 20% slow for 30 ticks is pretty devastating, in my opinion. It's pretty devastating, dude. That's good shit right there. All right, all right. Now back to my other quest, which was to get the the thing that I need. Um, the, here it is. So don't use the one that's currently in my chat or in my um, stream description, right? Your first one is better. Well, still though, like I haven't really like scoped the stats. So I just taken it as an, ex as, oh wow, 17%. But how's the slow? Like the slow is really the thing that gets me the most excited. I'm not gonna lie. So if you do want to use Donate Live tonight, and I always encourage people to do so, Please do use the uh, the link that is pinned in the live chat, and I will update the description for people watching later. But that, uh, this link goes to Starbuck, who has recently been through some very tragic times. So just we're all doing everything we can to keep him in our thoughts, in our prayers, and you know, do what we can for him by giving back in every way, whether it's big or small. There's the big GoFundMe that's been, you know, it, as far as I know. Um, pretty well received by the community. So really grateful for everyone for really pitching in for one of our, one of our long time, you know, steadfast in Starbucks. So with that, uh, I won't dwell on that much more, but thank you all for the reminder and for, yeah, now you use the right donate link, which goes to Starbucks. And now, what was it? Cassius? I saw you mention the seer. I've got my 18s out of the way. I haven't played today. I was at an engagement party, um, for my best friend. And it was a very big deal. So that that was what I spent my day. I actually wore my cowboy hat to this party, okay? That's how big of a deal it was to me. So that's where I was doing. I haven't played my hunts. I had to get those guys out of the way. Had to get those guys out of the way. But now I will 
dive in on some seer specific play. Um, so what I've been doing lately is I just filter by seer, archer, knight, warrior with a minimum of 15. And that way I get all my like dudes down here who I can just stamp pot up. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're, you're going in. So we'll start with the, the, uh, the hybrid build that I do pretty much mostly with this mythic and the, with the other ones, I'm more aggressive on the heels because they are, what's the word I'm looking for? The heels feel like the damage feels way less impactful when you don't have very much int. I feel like you kind of want both your int and your whiz about equivalent. If you're going that, artificer build because there's lots of heals and your damage spells also use whiz but they still do use int and they feel really weak if you don't have any uh just from my experience of playing with a bunch of different seers so which warrior do i want to give you i use both of those guys could give you kazor 15 16 17 that works kazor is not not my pride and joy kazor exists for one purpose like, he's only got 798 at 16. That is such poor health. Poor health. Oh. Anyway, so Sirakiel, and then Chiol, and then Kazor. So here's the Seer build that I am running. Let me zoom in a little. And then uh, I will just move the chat box over here for now. So um, on this guy, who is level 16, so I got the 15 abilities... I'm going this Warstone, Artificer, Time Sink. This is where I would switch to Sanctuary for the vast majority of the, uh, like, the vast majority of the Seers I'm playing. Like, I don't pick Time Sink with most of them because they don't have the int to support it. We're like, I'm not getting use out of this as a slow. So the only use I'm getting is this delay 30 deal damage. And if that's the only use I'm getting out of this with, like, those heroes that don't have a lot of int... They're not doing as much damage. Like, sure, yeah, it's a counter to the target's agi, but that's really, that's like a lot more high-level thinking than you need against the box. That's more like something you would use against another player because it really hard counters a type of strategy, right? And like, sure, I can imagine PvE where that is like a, like a very situational awesome pick. I'm just saying, as of right now, I, I think the Sanctuary is better for most people. But with him, Serechiel, maybe her, I'm not sure, He's got 37 int, 40 whiz. So he's pretty evenly split. Now, I'm not going to go out there and say, like, this is a schload of either of those. He's 16, right? I know we've seen people with, like, 20 more than these. But regardless, my point being, with him, he's about even at this almost 40 range on both. And these artifice or damage, or this damage ability, Warstone and Time Sink, they both feel like they do a lot of damage in his hands. Uh, I do go the Divination for the accuracy and the 80% decrease. What I typically do with that is I will cast it on my archer before they do Hunter's Mark, which is the most expensive ability that they cast for me in my setup. So that way I'm just like really being the most mana efficient I could be. And then you can see there my um, archer and warrior builds. I've got piercing shot, flurry, rapid shot, one small stone and Hunter's Mark. And um, so a lot of luck built into this. This is not a luck built archer though. This is kind of one of my Agi archers that I put a bunch of points into Agi when she was leveling. She got 32, which is pretty good. Not not like stellar, but like look at who she's playing with right here, you know, 20, 24. She's, she is actually ahead of the box most of the time, which is nice and still has 45 decks and 24 luck. So she's not a bad hero, uh, but like kind of average-ish for a legendary, I think most people would say. And like, there's a reason for that. It's a good reason. You see that? You know why I did that? Because I was going for this, and I thought, oh, it's just the building piece. Turns out it's now my, uh, you know, on paper, at least, best archer. But I digress. Seer being the point. Uh-huh. And now, like, guys, I like playing the Seer. I, I'm not convinced of whether I have an opinion. I don't know my opinion yet on whether it's good. Like, Bob, or sorry, not Bob. It, the Mega's Twitch chat is throwing me off. But, um... Just Crypto is saying that he, he thinks they're fun but not good. And, like, I don't know if I agree with that or disagree with it yet. Because I haven't formed my own full opinion. Because eh, my games do take longer most of the time. But at the same time, 
they are less stressful. So that's kind of like the balance. I do win more consistently because I do have this support that I normally don't have. And like, I, I think the seer is miles away uh, easier for me to play at least than the priest. Uh, I just can't handle the priest. It's just like, I don't know. Something about it gets me. Like everyone loves it. I get it. I'm not talking shit on any of your picks. Like something about it messes with my brain though. I just can't get it. Um, but the seer covers that for me. And I like this, the way she heals, which is kind of like these small heals that happen all the time. And people think a lot about this delay effects, these delay effects on her, on the, um, sanctuary, but also the level one left side build, which is, I don't remember the name of it, but that's the one that gives evasion and for two turns and then a heal after to delay 10, like delay 10 means it's like happening around your seer's next turn so you don't even have to think that far in advance and it's like pretty obvious your frontline guy is going to take damage so putting that on your front guy even if you're way out ahead of him like this it uh, like or i would be if i were the archer the seer is actually not at way out ahead of him um like it's still good i get a lot of use out of it and it just kind of rolls forward and i typically find in those games like yeah, sometimes I take big bursts of damage, but then, like, the next turn, I've gotten two heals that I just had banked anyway, and I'm back good to go. Not a problem. So, I really like those aspects. Let's see how it plays out. I do lose, though. I'm not going to stand here and say I never lose. I lose frequently. Um, but I it, there is still this learning curve. I did mean to piercing shot there. I, I, I like piercing shot on the opening turn and then he's using small stone later to try to merc both of the babies if necessary or like whatever other situation presents itself. But I, I just kind of was talking and uh, screwed up there. So here's a simple one. Uh, so I started at the back. I am probably going to be able to leapfrog at least one of these chickens if I just do my channel now. So I will do it because I do want to get some t damage onto the Mombok. I didn't do any damage with my archer. We're going to channel jump ahead of both of them no interrupt chance and also there's no interrupt chance from cheap because i have this barrier and this barrier as small as it is tiny as it is 657 huh measly meager it ooh, unanticipated not a problem not a problem distracted sorry i'm back in focus now what it does is, like, so cheap doesn't do any damage, so it doesn't break the barrier, ever. Never is going to break the barrier, no matter how small it is. It could be one point. Cheap's not going to break it on its own. And, um, this vibrating phone is really messing with me. There we go. Uh, so it's never going to break it, so it will. you'll always have that CC protection against cheap, and I, I think that's kind of something that people haven't really grasped yet about it, because I, I find that very potent. Potent. Potable. I probably should have used his turn to I remove the blinding potion because I probably could have leapfrogged with him. I never attack blinded. Like unless I have to. Unless I'm forced to abandon that uh, like or or like my principles mean I lose. Um because like I have to take a shot, right? But I try to never attack blinded. It's kind of one of my core things. I just, the, the amount it hits your ability to hit, it just ruins the predictability of the fight. It, and um, for that reason, I am out. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? One more. No, I already played that one. Sorry, shit, shit. Here, do you guys want the Bolon song while I play this one? This has deep meaning in the lyrics. The faucet is running, the flow can't be stopped. The alpha is leaking, but here comes the cop. They call him Bolon Bolon, the alpha police. Take 
Yeah, so it just ends there because it just goes for like however long the AI goes. So it's not like a unit, right? It doesn't have like a clean start and finish. But how do you like them lyrics, huh? You what was that? You wish they were like a little slower and more well uh more well enunciated so you could understand them better? Okay. The faucet is running. Flow can't be stopped. The alpha is leaking. But here comes the car. They call him Bolong Bolong, Mr. Alpha Police. Bolong Bolong. Oh no. I'm getting honked. I'm getting honked. Dreamer is ah! streaming. And Bolong is steaming. Cause the Alpha is steaming. One of the dreams. I thought that was like Billie Eilish style. It's kind of how I thought of it. But, fam, all right. I have to answer this phone call. Be right back. Be right back. I'll be right back. Son, where'd you find this? Okay, that's that's incredible. Yeah, do, that yeah. makes every everything better. How do you do it? One, two, three. You level up like that, you get put in the pit. Right away. No Moksha's, no nothing. No stone heroes, yeah, we, we put them right in the pit. All basic abilities, right to the pit. Archers under 50 decks, in the pit, right away. Rarity's too low, you go in the pit. Also, if you're rare. All right, Whew. The Alpha Police got me good right there. Who calls it Midnight Koopa? My out-of-town drunk wife is who calls it uh, Midnight. And also, it's only 9.30 here. Um, but that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, right? Okay. 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 Um, so, yeah, that's the only guy where I really focus in on trying to do damage. And you see that, like, I um, did have to use a healing potion still, but only one. Because I did get a healing ward in with a leapfrog. And I was able to use the channeled abilities just fine. I felt, I mean, I don't know, correct me if you all disagree, right? I I would actually be really curious on your thoughts there, because to me that felt really, really good, but, like, not great. You get what I'm saying? Like, really smooth, really mellow, never really any risk. Um, 
of losing the win. However, could have had more confidences and security in my, you know, decisions. Actually, you kind of need an endurance, dog. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, you can get that one. There you go. There you go. And then Sarekiel. Yeah, I do need two. Uh, come on. Don't dog me like this. Game. Beetle dude. There we go. Price updated. Guys, the price updated. I'm shocked. It's DeFi. Price updates constantly. Oh. So yeah, I have a slowed more of those songs, but I gotta come up with some more new lyrics. I'm gonna definitely do shit talking lyrics. You know? That feels must to me. Um yeah, so that's where I'm at. So this is also another unstoned hero from one of my early summons, right? That Dex is Garbaccio. Um, but do I care about that? That's the real question. I don't think I do. Do I go buy a... I'm just going to give you this Gwit Crystal. That seems fine. Um, primary stat. What do you think I needed in that primary there? I, maybe some more Agi would be clutch because then I'd get more out of those jumps. Yeah, let's do you right there. Boom. View cue. Send it. All right, guys. Double rug. I, I expect total two points across both of these level ups. The minimum. That is my expectation. Oh, we'll see. You want me to burn it? I'm not going to burn the... No, I'm not burning this. This is my best healer. Why would I do that? You have an AI music special request. Worm, I was thinking about you. And yeah, we should talk about this. I'm on board with it. Because I found out about this yesterday, last night, and, and everything that you're hearing, I made, like, pretty much, you know, in the wee hours. The force is running, the flow can't be stopped, the alpha is leaking, but here comes the cloud. They call him the one, this the alpha police, for one, one, please leave us in peace. Oh, run. Run. Burn. You know what we say to that, family? You know what we say to that? You level up like that, you get put in the pit. Damn, dude. That's, I mean, Sears are obviously bad. After that level up, am I right? Come on. Pay attention to me. It's been two minutes. Ugh. Let's see how the warrior did. Better. Nine. One dex, two agi. Cool with that. Two agi. One more vit. We're at, ooh, low health roll though. 29. It looks like I got. That's really unfortunate. Ugh. You really hate to see a low as a warrior. Told you burn it. Yeah, right, Mega. You just want me to burn it so I don't beat you with it. In, like, the opening round. You know what I'm saying? The opening round. Because that's as far as I'm going to make it. Really, Realistically speaking. Realistically speaking. We the mythics for the people's guild. A passion for me. All right. Uh, I just used you, sir. All right, so let's go for a lower level one that doesn't have any of the 15 abilities that I didn't end up using that game anyway. Um, let's go, yeah, you two. Do I want Wagoner? No, I don't want you, actually. You're really bad. This is a really bad hero. It leveled up like crap. Or do I want Vianor? I want Wagoneer. What's your health? 505. Okay. So this dude's got, what? 41 Wiz. So with him, he doesn't have the int, right? He's only at 28 compared to, like, the other one had 39. Pretty similar. 
which is sad with my mythic on uh, Wiz, but once my mythic gets to 20, it's okay. Then it can burn. Um, so with him, I am still getting Warstone because it scales off the Wiz. And like with this build, I have no other range damage, right? No Archer. So that gives me the one piece that I have. Aside, so I have one ability on each hero that can do range damage, right? Um, and you'll see, oh, I have Chrono Purge on you. I don't know if I want that. I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. It's it's fun to play around with. I'd remove cheaps. Or the um, evasion buff. So that's why I was messing around with it. I still do think Rejuvenation Stone is kind of the call, though, given my build. But Chrono Purge does the negate is... Yeah, actually, I'm just going to switch that out. Because you have shit in... And we're going to do this one. So in this... This one, I'm going to just be doing my, like, softer hybrid where I just have one damage ability, but I'm mostly healing. The first one I played was a bit more aggressive on the damage side. And then the third one that I'm going to show you after this is going to be, like, the full Oracle build, which I actually was surprised. It's, like, everyone who says it's going to take long games is correct. The games do take forever. But at the same time, they feel really easy. So that's the thing I'm like torn on. Is it good or bad? I don't know. So here I'm starting with that um, shield because I have Artificer. That is the one thing you lose out on when you go for the Oracle build is you can't pick up Artificer, which is really nice. Just like, like I don't know. It, it lessens the risk that you just get one guy totally wrecked a little bit, right? It's marginal, but it it is impactful feeling in my opinion. All right, and so here on my Seer's first turn, I'm going to open with Sanctuary. Get the shield back up. Big miss by Wily. You can expect to see more of those this game. Or no, my third turn with my Seer. I forgot I used Warstone. Right, right, right. Get some damage in early. And now to the healing. So I'm going to heal both these guys with Sanctuary. It's the cool thing. It's like AoE repeatable team heal. Yes, you can get overwhelmed if they focus fire, so I don't know if Sanctuary will hold up in PvP, because, you know, players can think, but we will see. It does feel good in the computer fights. Alright, Sanctuary up. So you see, I, my, my guy back here still has that barrier. Remember, he can't get cheaped because of that barrier. He can't get confused. And now it's getting larger, the, the longer this goes on. Oh, you're getting beat up, Dasid. Goodbye. Uh... What do I want to do with you? Two sixty-five. I don't really want to risk their turn without him. Oh shit, I did the wrong thing. Oh well. Well, that's okay. I can do it on this guy's turn. Show you another secret I like. So here's another secret. People seem averse to using health potions with a seer. And that's fair. Like I understand the reasoning. But one thing I've noticed is like you don't really have an upfront immediate turn heal with the seer. But potions do have this built-in initiative, like, refund. So, it's kind of like a seer move, right? And you're the artificer, you're actually getting more back from giving a potion to your homie on your next turn for artificer than you would be if you were doing a channeled ability. So, I think, yeah, like, you know, try to use potions less. But at the same time, if your guy gets wrecked like that when you haven't been able to set up, just use it. And then get your setup going. And then you're good to go. You have lots of potion space. Don't be afraid. But when you do get behind on your setup though, because sometimes I have ones where like they miss one of the attacks and like my guys are just shielded. That is stupid. Um, one thing if you do miss your setup is it, it can be hard to remember to range down one, uh, one of the guys. Whichever one doesn't cast cheap, as in this situation, it was the back guy. So, 300 I can't get below. Oh, yeah, I'm super chill. Hit it. 
All right. Dasid. See, now he's going to get a heal after his turn. Cheap goes off. We're good. Body slam. That's my only risk. Is a body slam here? Does he live? Does he live? Ooh, he does not. Dies to the bleed. Oh, no. That was a three. Oh, wow. So he's going to get a heal. This guy is stunned. They both have cheaps. I say kill one. Oh, you miss. You don't listen to what I say. Why you do this? How much did that give you? 107? Ooh, you are not having a good game. These guys won pretty handily last night. Maybe it's Wiley. I'll blame Wiley. Do I risk it really hard? Because they haven't really attacked Wiley. Or do I just go potion again? Conservative. We'll play conservative. I should have an artificer shield coming up pretty soon too. Maybe on the next turn. You're stunned, dumb dumb. And you no oh yeah, you do get a turn in. Cool. Passive barrier, there it is. Drop some sanctuary right on top. Oh no, Koopa, these aren't makes for breaks. No no. This is a slow game with this comp here. I'm typically fighting at least one demon block, but the thing is, it's not typically an issue. And I'm kind of hoping we get there. Unblinding myself, I, I can't hit with blinds. It's just, maybe I'm the one making a mistake. I'll admit that there may be more edge cases than I'm allowing, but like, I just can't stand attacking while blinded. Egg's gonna come out when you're there so if i i'm just gonna spam heal one more time but tempting to do the uh war stone on that guy because it would go after the egg hatches and i would just be able to merc him kind of take advantage of the channel when like right now i wouldn't want to attack him but i would love to attack him right there you know it just doesn't really work out in this circumstance You go f Yeah, you go for him. 73. You toss one back. It's like my guys have had a lot of CC immunity, even though every shield's getting broken, right? They like... Like this guy's got double his health bar almost by all the shields he's built up which becomes fun later on if I do get to that point. All right. Yeah, I'm going all in. Not as much damage as I would have liked out of that. Not even gonna fucking lie to you. Uh, basic attack, that guy. This is the one nice thing about not having Oracle. I can do that little basic attack. I think it gets me the damage I need to feel com comfortable. Uh, with a gladiator strike here, as long as it hits, of course. Yep, barely. And then, um, I don't know if channeling on the egg is the call. I feel like the warriors can kill Mombok from here because I have a rapid onslaught combo up. Let's let's just drop a sanctuary. That's right. Come on, hit a bleed, hit a bleed, hit a bleed. 110, we'll take that top range. And then the rapid onslaught, hopefully dazes, I guess. I didn't realize Wiley is so weak. Oh, cool, you're charging Mighty Gus. Do that all day, baby. Now here I really like the the Warstone because it's going to come up on the the living cheap and it gets me some initiative to hopefully m maintain the lead I have there and hopefully Dasid hits this oh my god you suck dude
Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna get a demon box. Oh, and you're still alive? Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, these two. No, look, they barely did any damage to my barriers with that magic. You see that? 15, 49, 49. That seems kind of funky. I don't really, I haven't looked into it, but the barrier definitely seems to frick up the uh, baby boar. Or whatever it's called. Demon bot. Um, I'm going to pass his turn because I don't want to haste her up. And I want to give myself one more shield. All right. I have a lot of shield. Ooh, big, big miss? Maybe, maybe not a big miss. Maybe that's the wrong word. So next turn, I am going to go for a Warstone. Get some damage on her. Gravity Scramble comes out. All right. I still have health. I have health incoming to cover up the health I just lost. We're all full, basically. And uh, Artificer Passive Barrier gives us a new one. Oh, we love it. Let's Warstone that. Get some initiative up. You lose your speed. Goodbye. I get gravity scrambled, but I have shields up, so it should be fine. Do I even want to attack with this guy? Yeah. Nah, I'll attack with the other warrior. I don't want to attack with both of them, I don't think. Because I don't want to give her too much haste, but he does the stronger attack. It's why he has the sword. 102, gave her some haste. 234 left. Gravity scramble, we got shields, doesn't do anything to us. Dark Rend, 144, still at two-thirds health. Warstone's coming out. Ooh, 150. Retaliate coming in. I was hoping for a little bigger hit there, but eh, still good. I really don't trust you. You can just move to the front position. That's all you're really good for, Wiley. Don't trust you at all. Gravity Scramble might ruin me here. No days, I'm good. Haste is bye-byes, and then the, as long as this hits and doesn't get blocked, I should be good to go. Yeah, easy win. Sure, I got the... I, I always remove blind, J-Dub. I cannot play with it on. Like, if you get hits, I don't judge you for what you're doing. I feel like I miss. Just, like, it's not a 10%. It's... They left off a zero. It's 100. Or whatever, 25%. It's not 25%. They left off a zero. It's 250% chance to miss. Because that's how it is for me. Boring bye, says my wife. Jeez, I just get no love around here. It's all right, though. So, yeah, you see? Pretty easy win. So, that one is the one that tends to go the longest. But, like, my guys were only really in danger once. And, you know, I used potions with my no healer builds. I used less potions there. So, still coming out beneficial for having had a healer. And I really never felt like the risk that I feel confidently, or not confidently, regularly, when I just play full uh, damage. So now let's go for, I think Kufar here might be perfect, but oh, I think I want to go with Maria. I, this is a dark summon. I whiz maxed, as you can see. We're, excuse me, we're at level 13. Um... This one's fun. All right, so we'll go with her, 13. What else I got around there? Ooh, you guys are so pretty. Doo -doo. Um, could go 12. I'm gonna need to just pick out an archer. I don't want Nadina. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, 12, 13, 14? Yeah! So this one is going to be the full-on Oracle build. Which is max healing, right? And I get it, it's not a lot of healing. It's so small. What are you doing? Why is it good? It sucks. Let's see. Let's just see. What happens here? Uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, I think for the obvious reason everyone's kind of talked about this. It does no need to really rehash it. But Osmotic Ward, not that great ex outside of you know dealing with the box. But like I find it, 
kind of unnecessary. So since I am going full healer here, I'm just going to... I had Chrono Purge, I think, on my last guy. If I had had that Rejuvenation Stone, I probably wouldn't have had to use those potions, to be honest with you, because I, I could have used those turns. I used War Stone and Hip Popped, or Leapfrogged, uh, to um, instead use Rejuvenation Stone. But this one's full heal. I get the 15% haste from Oracle. Um, future Sight, target ally gains Evasion for two turns. And delay 10, which like means next turn, heal target for one spell plus one whiz. And my whiz on this dude is already 52. So you're gonna it's gonna start getting big on that. You know? That's what I'm thinking. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, Ruskies. So uh someone said something about MSVHT Alpha. Yeah, I will give you some alpha. The uh Affixes are being finalized. Um, I have a lot of very similar affix ideas, and I'm kind of deciding like which structure I like better. It's like the difference between you know, what's, what's, how can I say this without giving away spoilers? I can't. But um, just note that the signups will go live soon, and I when I basically when I finish the article describing the new tournament structure, it's going to be slightly different than the first one. Uh, I'm going to have like an opening day kind of qualifier round w with like a schedule where you can sign up for a time slot on a Saturday or a Sunday, um, depending on what I f go with the final schedule. You'll be able to sign up and you will have, you and one other person will be able to sign up for each, uh, what is it? I went with, I think 15, no, no, I think I went with, 20 minute slots. I think I was going for 20 minute slots, maybe a little ambitious. I might have to move it back to half hour. Um, but two people would come be in the discord. They would play all four of the qualifier day affixes and they would get a score based on the number of heroes they have left and the number of potions they have left. Um, and the 16 highest scoring people who played all four of the affixes on the opening day would then be seated based on their point score into the finals bracket. And the finals will of course have enhanced affixes across all of the rounds, which are actually kind of nightmarish on this one compared to what I had before. Uh, like I look at some of them and I think, Haha, like, I don't know how, any tactical approach that I can think of would do this. And like last time that was uh, like, if I got to that point, I'd be like, maybe I should make it easier. And I'm just not doing that this time. I'm not making it easier. I'm just going to do it. So here first turn with the super fast jacked out seer. I like to use future sight on my front line. Chances of my front line taking damage are a virtual certainty because of uh, like the mama's going to hit him. But even she missed, thus proving that even virtual certainties are not certain, right? But regardless, chances were good when I picked that he's going to take some damage there. He still could from the babies. And so I like getting that heal just ready to go on him on the next turn. Because that's good. But then also, don't, don't forget, he did have the evasion buff there. So that miss could very well have been a result of the fact that I buffed him. Both of my guys took very little damage. I'm covering that up with this shield and they're going to get the health back on the next turn. And that guy got his health back early. What do you know? Fat heal over a hundred when you got above 50 whiz. It starts getting real sexy, real sexy. See, so both of these guys have a heal lined up already. Remember? So they're like, Oh no, they're getting low, but they have a heal. It's incoming. Ooh, good days. Hmm. We roll the dice. The faucet is running. The flow can't be stopped. The alpha is leaking. But here comes the cop. They call him the alpha. Speaking, time for the AMA. What will his car? 
Sanctuary, I've just spammed it every time, and my guys have had a shield blocking the crowd control, and they've had um, heals to full health pretty much this whole game. And that's all just from spamming Sanctuary with this Oracle build. Sure, now I'm out of mana, so I have to spend one turn now, at this point in the game, giving myself a mana potion. Which also improves my, it gives me more speed back. So like, like I compare that to when I play with no heal, no support whatsoever, and I'm burning... Like, two, like, at least two kind of health potions just as a matter of course, at least. So this one mana-ish, or like, you know, comparable, at least, or it, it seems to be comparable to me, at least. Let's put it that way. I hate having to do this. Aurelian really let, oh my god, I hate you, Raw Dribbler. I really freaking hate you for that. You really let me down. Unbelievable. Not even my worst enemy, Raw Dribbler, would have done that to me. But you, my most noble child, did. To the pit. Oh, you treat your owner like that? You know what happens? Yeah. You level up like that, you get put in the pit. Right away. No mokshas, no nothing. That's right. I'm always torn here. Like, do I go a double small stone or do I go for the rapid shot? Be because I don't have any more damage dealing abilities after this, I'm just kind of hoping that one of them gets dazed. Didn't happen. Yeah. I gotta deal with two demon box. Maybe. Uh, well, definitely on the demon box. Don't get me wrong on that. But uh, no, definitely on the box in a hatch. Don't know if both of them are gonna make it to demon hood. I might be able to kill one. No mana on my warrior is kind of a, an issue though. Do, 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 do. So, so here's where I do regret having Oracle over my like very lighter damage one because um, like I would be able to help kill one of these and then not have two, which would be very nice. Pray for me on these crits. Pray for me. It didn't happen. Two demon box it is coming right up. Big fat blast. There's one. Big fat blast number two. All right, shields are holding steady, lads. Uh, I'm going to have to burn more than one mana potion, though. Tell you what. We will see, though. We will see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I go for, the, go for it. And then I just got to keep spamming Sanctuary on my dude. It's really my only hope. <sighs> or maybe they double dark destruction. That would be sweet. Wouldn't hate that, right? I wouldn't hate that. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, man. Uh, 
I don't want to waste a mana potion on him. I'd, I'd rather just keep it for the shield so I can let them kill the, themselves with Dark Destruction. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, my guys are up here doing well-ish. That guy, that was a big fat hit right there, though. Speed boost gone from one of them. Dark Rain comes out on the Archer. They're spreading their damage well, which is really good for me with this. Because if Focus Fire is what beats this, which is why I'm not sure it's going to hold up against a player, the more I think about it. Fingers crossed for this one. Crit! Oh, wrecked. Da, 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 da. I am so wrecked. Honk. Shout out to Honk. Airdrop. One just happened. Shout out Ren Pen. Three Wolves. Toon Fed. Uh, crypto Meme. My other Honkalites. Yeah. Good stuff going on over there in the Honk land. Honklandia. Honklandia. Honk kit box. I'm almost done. I said 10 to 10, 15. This is my last game. I will call you in 15 minutes tops, babe. Bebe. My sweetest love. Okay? Okay. Because I love you that much. Oh my god, you miss again. Rar Dribbler has 53 decks. For the record. Anyone curious about like... Why am I missing? I do have this on. I could take that off, I guess. I could. Physical damage by 17%, though. It's pretty... It's, the, it's tantalizing, to say the least. They haven't even cast Dark Destruction yet. What dogs? What dogs? Show her who's boss in turn. No, I can't. Well, I mean, I can, but the answer is her. She is the boss. She runs my life. Not in a bad way, either. My life would be all over the place, messy, not good, <laughs> without the management. I won't even lie. Who do you think convinced me to go to law school? Yeah, that guinea pig lady did. Got one down. One down. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna roll the dice that Aurelian lives because he gets a heal right now from the sanctuary. So if he just doesn't get attacked on this turn by the Bach, right? Say it does Dark Destruction finally. Oh. Oh. Attack the back line. Cool. Should be fine then. I don't want you to get retaliated upon. So yeah, you pass. We leapfrog. It's the same effect. All good. Rejuvenation Stone up. Full health, baby. Now a piercing shot goes out. You jump him, most likely. Not at all, because you... Dude, I have never seen her miss this much. This is great. This is an excellent example of just gotta keep it cool under pressure. Like, nah, shit happens. Yo, yeah, you get dazed finally for once. God, golly. Oh no, you're hurting my guys. Shields up. I'm losing the archer soon. I'm amazed I haven't got a dark destruction yet. Oh, there it comes. Okay, there it is. So now, like, really... Goal is try to get rid of that shield. Their barrier. But it's hard because they can get a barrier from me attacking. So, like, there's no real great strategy except for, like, brute forcing it. Which obviously doesn't work all the time. Because she can get her own shield. But, hey, that was really good. Now I have shielded dudes for Dark Destruction and she is unshielded. That's pretty much ideal. I could use uh, a health potion here on my archer to be like hyper conservative, but I'm going to demonstrate confidence and just pass. See what happens. It does get me ahead of the dark destruction, so I could decide to do it then. Archer's low. Does it shouldn't matter though. The whole goal is this thing's going to kill her. I'm worried that I gave her a shield, but ooh, dude, dude never fucking misses. This is wild. This is wild. I this this is like the most wild one I've seen yet. Um, yeah, we'll just reposition you to the front. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And then we reposition you to the front. Yeah. And that's how we win the game, I hope. Ooh, got most of her damage done. All right, all right. Cool, so now I have that health potion still, because I didn't use it. Um, I think I just use it. Just, you know, for maximum safety. Because I can't do any damage, right? This is an unbelievable situation. I'm going to need two hits at least. Unless, you know, shields 
aside. Haste is up. All right, but no shield on the first one. So if I get one more hit with my warrior in, I should be good to go. Let's put you in the front in case that matters. Might not. Might screw myself. Put it, having put the warrior in the middle. Ooh, slow. Ah! Status effect expired. Warrior's turn. It's all on this. All eyes on this. And he takes her down. See, so Oracle, despite all of the very, you know, shysty RNG that you just witnessed for my, like, one of my high, like, higher dex archers for the level, 52, like, was still, like, pretty much full health the entire game. Uh, let's see, how many turns did that go? That was a long one. 123. I think that might be my new record. One, two, three. I think I hear a new song coming in. One, two, three. Michael Jackson. No. No, I don't have that. I don't have that ready. I don't. I just I just don't. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But on that note, you know, that's all the the seer expose I can do for now. Because I gotta call my wife back and um talk to her. And I love her, so don't think it's like an obligation or anything. But before I go, I will leave you all with this one. Welcome to Open Fireplace with your host, Sticks in Turn. Welcome to Open Sours with your host, Sticks in Turn. Welcome to Open Sours with your host, Sticks in Turn. that you get put in the pit right away no mokshas no nothing no stone heroes yeah we we put them right in the pit all basic abilities right to the pit archers under 50 decks in the pit right away rarity is too low you go in the pit also if your rarity is too high you go in the pit too high too low either way you're in the pit